Well, good evening, everybody. I hope you're all here to enjoy some wonderful Majora's Mask randomizer. <laughs> As you can see, I've randomized sound effects this time. <laughs> I've basically checked every random setting possible. The only ones I didn't check, I did not randomize catching bottle fiends in bottles. So apparently there's a setting where it's like, oh, if you caught a bug in a bottle, you could get the, salt, the Sonata of Awakening, which just seems very strange to me. I didn't do that. I didn't do randomized enemies because that's still in the beta phase and can apparently crash your game. Didn't want to try that. And the other thing... I f there was one other thing. Um... I also made it so that I start with the Psalm of Soaring, and the Psalm of Soaring location doesn't have anything. And that's simply to make sure it, the amount of time I spend backtracking is minimized. It doesn't really affect anything, it just makes things a little faster. Oh boy. <laughs> We've got quite a road ahead of us, don't we? <sighs> oh boy. Well, let's get started. I also started with crazy starting items. So as you can see, we only start with one heart container. Oh, man. We might not start with a sword or shield either. But we always start with the Ocarina of Time and the Soul of Time. So we're going to start by slowing things down a bit. Great first thing. Oh boy, a re actually, I'm pretty sure this is just a random red potion. Yeah, we got a red potion, but I don't think we got the bottle with it. No, we don't. Uh, I should have actually saved that then. Alright, let's see what's at the laundry pool. Sup, Fox Kid. Oh, <laughs> We get the Swamp Sculpture token! How great is that? <laughs> yeah, I've randomized uh, tokens for the Sculpture Houses, Stray Fairies as well. So it, it's basically everything. So we're going to get a lot of just random junk. And I'm guessing that these Sculpture Houses are going to be filled with really nice items. Just my personal guess. Oh, I just realized, if I don't have a sword, am I even allowed to leave Clock Town? The guards might stop me. Because if you don't have a sword, what? No! Just ignore that. I'm good at this game, I swear. Am I going to hear that creepy giggle every single time I pick up a rupee? Because that sucks. It's weird. I feel like my control stick is making me go slightly to the right. Nah, I think I'm mistaken. Hey, Mobius. Welcome, welcome. Oh, so Twitch didn't alert me? Uh, didn't alert you that I was streaming? Oh, hey! That's vanilla! You know what? I'm actually totally cool with that, because that's a very easy way to get a free 100 bucks. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here now, Mobius. Also, apparently randomizing music includes randomizing some music that never even appeared in Majora's Mask. Like, this song is not from Majora's Mask. Alright, let's see what the trading outpost has. Zora Mask! Hey! Oh, I'm absolutely buying that. <laughs> that's the... That's the You Got the A Star uh, tune from Super Mario 64. Alright, jackpot. Zora Mask is really good. A Snowhead Temple small key. Oh, boy. <laughs> that guy's always scratching his back. Yes, indeed. Red Potion. Woodfall Stray Fairy. What song is this? Opponent's song? Yes, please. <laughs> More Mario 64. <laughs> nice. Then we got two great Bay Great Stray Fairies. 
I think I will hold off because none of those are particularly interesting to me. Uh, hey, Pierre. Oh, whoops. That is not what I wanted to do. Let's just do Scarecrow Song, whatever. We might need it later. No, I already know about the song to manipulate time. Oh boy. Well, Zora Mask early is nice. I actually have a method of attacking now. What's in the bomb shop? Ooh. <laughs> you can't use any of them, but feel free to look around. I can use some of these. Snowhead Temple Stray Fairy, 30 Rupees, the Woodfall Compass, and the Ocean Title Deed. Alright, alright. Not terrible. Oh, so Song of Soaring might not even be useful to me. Just because I, without the sword, I can't even activate the owl statues. Alright, Tingle. What you got for me? Alright, Tingle, what you got? You got a red rupee for five rupees and the great fairy sword! Woohoo! Alright, sweet. Great fairy sword is a great buy. Even though I could get it cheaper at Woodfall, I want it right now. Welcome to N64. <laughs> Tingle does look 2D. <laughs> well, he's a 2D face on a 3D image. That's part of the reason why. Alright, great fairy sword right from the get-go. That's really nice. Let's pop this balloon here. Huh? Hey, kid. <laughs> Are you the guy who turned into the Zora thing that popped my balloon? Yes, that's me. Okay, let's see if we can get these kids real fast. That is quite the sound effect to use. Okay, hang on a second. I really do think my controller was... Slightly acting up. Darn it. Aw, if you can catch him by surprise, he's a really easy catch. <laughs> Red one standing by. Ugh. I've got a big sword. Nobody mess with me. Oh, I also got, uh... Gotta mark that. I got the Great Fairy Sword on the tracker. That's gonna be my biggest problem, is keeping track of the tracker. Also, I need more health. Thankfully, there are tons of pieces of heart in this game. Alright. Hey, hey, come on. I don't know what this music is from. It's such a gentle piano music. That kid's being so melodramatic. Ooh, if we can scare him down these steps. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> that is the sound effect of one of the mini bosses in Woodfall dying. Oh, sweet. Great Fairy Sword works on the owl statues. Wonderful. the last kid. So now we learn the code. 
and we get whatever the bomber's notebook is, which is 20 bucks. Alrighty. One, two, three at the end. Five, four. I love how the tracker has room to write down the code on. That's really cool. Thank you, whoever made this tracker. It is wonderful. Alright. Well, now, with the Great Fairy Sword, we should be able to leave town. And I guess if we're a Zora, we can also leave town. Zoom! What's up, dude? I'm just, you know, heading out. <laughs> More new music. So I believe there is a way you can walk up this tree. Because normally you either need magic beans or the hook shot to get up here. Oh no, there is a way. Alright, I, I don't have the patience to try it though. I'm a casual Majora fan, not one of those hardcore people who can use all the glitches. Ooh, boy. Gold border chests have something important in them. Lens of Truth. I don't have magic, so I can't use it. That's nice. Got a Deku Sticks as well. Those are also good. And we get Deku Nuts as well. Wunderbar. Oh boy, another token! Can't wait till I get some faster movement, either the bunny hood or the Goron mask, or even the Deku mask. Hey dude, what's in the tree? Kabunk! <laughs> that giggle is creepy though. Hello Z, uh, Z Iron Aldo 119. Um, you are spam. Let's get rid of that. This is where it would be nice if I actually had mods. But alas, I do not. So something new I learned. Apparently you can literally scale up these pillars. I thought you needed magic beans to get up here. No, you don't. You can just climb on up. I don't know why Twitch doesn't just let me go mod view by default all the time. It seems strange to me. Wee! All right, I need to find a shop then. Oh wait a second, I've got a Pona. Oh, great. It's the tattle noise for my low health. That's gonna be super nice. Oh, but it's Iron Knuckle for Epona. That's fantastic. I love the Iron Knuckle sound effect. 
Well, Milk Road has a couple things I can buy. I can visit Tingle here. <laughs> oh, Pona. You are funny. Give me that, fairy. Thank you. Actually, hang on. I'm gonna just... That's better. All right. This is where I need free monitors to keep all my stuff on. <laughs> all right, Tingle. What maps do you have for me today? Let's see. Piece of heart for 20 rupees. 10 bombs for 40 rupees. I'll buy the piece of heart. Now let's see what the Gorman Brothers are selling, because they normally just sell you milk. But, they might be selling me something better. A green potion. I mean, 50, po 50 rupees for a green potion ain't bad. I'll have to remember that. Oh, also I can race them. I should have brought Epona with me. Epona, once they hear you, they're gonna be terrified. They're gonna look there and haha, is that your horse? <laughs> Opponent goes, it's like, oh, oh, okay, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe you are. Is that Fain your horse? Yeah. I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> that is nowhere near as funny as their normal yells. Okay, it's like some of the sound effects in the game are randomized, but not all. <laughs> There's nothing like racing horses to the tune of the Lost Woods theme. on the outside. You don't want... Whoa! That guy just turned around. Oh, he's gonna win. <laughs> A lot of Mario 64 music coming in here. What you giving me? You were giving me a stray fairy from Snowhead. Okay. That's nice of you. Come, Epona. We ride. That's the wrong way, Epona. This way. Epona, this way. Let us go off to Woodfall. I don't think the Tingle here will be selling anything that we haven't already seen. Okay, so this is where the bats attack us. Oh great, we take even one damage and we start going the low health sound. Hi, bat. Oh! Like a pro. Oh, no. That's not like a pro. Take that, Chew Jelly. I think there's only five rupees up there anyways. Yeah, oh, that's not even worth getting. Alright, off to Southern Swamp. Right. 
Uh, this is not the Southern Swamp music. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure what else, what all we can do here. But we can at least go to Mag Magic Hag Potion Shop. Oh, and we can go to the Woods of Mystery as well. Yeah, Woods of Mystery is going to be nice. I mean, we can't get anything here, but we can always get the red potion from uh, Kotake if we go here. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny music. Oh. oh, I took a wrong turn. Whoops. Oh yeah, I did. T whoops, I did totally take the wrong turn. There we go. Hey, you, so. Take that. Blam. Alright, now when we go to the potion shop, we'll get something for free. And if there's one thing I'm big on, it's free discounts. That's no potion, but I'm very appreciative. Biggest bomb bags for 60 rupees. The Goron will buy for 10. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm buying both of those. I have, but... Alright, wow. Jackpot! Both of those will be extremely useful. Woohoo! Oh man, that was so good. We can't do anything else in the swamp, though. Let's skedaddle. Back to Clock Town. Oh wait, I think Ingo is still talk. Oh, he is. Darn. He is still talking to them. Well, I ain't waiting around. Madame Aroma will be there all day. Ingo, I think he's gonna stay there till noon. One, two, five, four, three. That that always jump scares me a bit. That particular sound effect anytime it plays. Cause it's what plays when it's normally just like the boodledong. Alright, secret underground tunnel. No worries, bro. What's behind here? Probably nothing important. Might as well try, though. Alright. We almost have two hearts, though. This also means instead of just four heart containers lying around the game, there are six. That's nice. Actually, wait. No, I need to keep that on, because there's a balloon coming up. And I love 
love how the transformation masks and the ocarina are mapped to the D-pad in the rando. It's such a good touch. There are tons of nice touches in the rando. Okay, seriously, it's like... Am I playing Majora's Mask or Mario 64? Like, half of these psalms are from Mario 64. Would you like to gaze in the telescope? Yes, I would. Hey, Skull Kid. Is that... That... Yep, that looks like a Swamp Skull Chilla token. I hope the Skull Chilla tokens and the Stray Fairies carry over when you reset and don't get reset. <laughs> That would be such a pain in the butt, especially if there's something important hidden behind one of those. Hopefully we'll get the adult wallet and we can check that out today. Ooh, an ocean Skulchula token. Never mind. Very, very different. Oh, actually, wait a second. What am I doing? I can Psalm of Soaring back to Clock Town, which will be much faster. Yeah! I love Psalm of Soaring. This is why I started with it. Again, it just speeds things up a little bit. Alright, by the time we get back to Madame Aroma's office, Ingo should be gone. What is that sound? I mean, it's the sound of the kid going, hey, but, like, what's making it? Alright, Ingo should be leaving now. Yep, sure enough. Hello, yes, lady, I am very much here to help you. What are you going to give me? The couple's mask? Wow, that's that's funny, actually. Because now we can literally take this next door and get something else. <laughs> that's actually so fitting and appropriate. This is completely unfitting. Music. Hey, gentlemen, let's break it up. We got the couple's mask. We got a small key for the Woodfall Temple. There's only one small key for that dungeon. And if you have the bow, I believe it is? Or, no, if you have the... No, 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 if you have the bow, you can bypass it entirely. You never have to use the key. Alright, well, good to know. Good to know that the small key is there. Ooh, I can do honey... If I get some more rupees, I can do the Honey and Darling game. I'm gonna need a decent amount of rupees, though, because the first day's game is pretty tough. Let's see. Norvern Clock Town, that's a good place to get rupees. So we can hit these bushes. We could also head to Great. Actually, whoa, we could literally head to Great Bay right now if we wanted to. That feels weird. But there's probably lots of treasure there. I'm gonna try the Honey and Darling game first, though. Because we should... I don't want to sound cocky, but we should get the bow before the time cycle is up. And as long as we have the bow, we'll be able to complete all three days. All we need are the is the bomb bag for the first two days. And I'm already really hoping that nothing is hidden behind Town Archery 2. Come on. 
Have one rupee. No, have one rupee. That guy has the slowest walk ever. I didn't know you could, could examine all of these posters on the wall. Alright. That giggle is still creeping me out. Every time I pick up a rupee. Oh, that's the that's the giggle of the baby Goron. Not like a cute girl giggling, no. Alright, honey and darling. It's bomb shoe day. I do not like this game. I am very bad at it. This is good minigame music though. The beginning of this game isn't too bad, but once it starts picking up speed, my aim starts getting way off. Okay, we only have one target left, that's good. Wow, I have never had that easy of a time on Bomchu Day. I'm happy though. That's great. <laughs> 50 bucks? Oh yeah, that's not randomized. That's always what happens. You have to win all free games if you want the grand prize. Still very nice though. Now that I've got some more money, I'm going to head back to the bomb shop to buy that thing. <laughs> I didn't want to talk to you, kid. Yeah, I'm going to buy the title deed. Because, worst case, I can always use it as toilet paper. And by that I mean the hand in the toilet can use it as toilet paper. Alrighty. Off to Great Bay. Actually, before we call Epona. <laughs> the common enemies have the mid-boss music, which is amusing. What's in the chest? Yeah, spam comments. I don't know why people are spamming on my channel. I mean, it's not like I'm big at all. <laughs> If they try it again, though, they get they get in the ban. I can do that now that I'm in mod view. Uh, whoa, what's with all this? What the heck is up with that slowdown? Man, the levers just slow the game down. The Zora swimming mechanic is alright. I'm not actually a huge fan of it. Like, it's definitely an improvement over the uh, iron boots that you constantly have to switch through, but I don't like the way it controls. It's one of the reasons I hate the Great Bay Temple in this. Oh, the Stray Fairy. Well, we gotta get that.
I'm pretty sure the stray fairies, when they're randomized, they do carry over every time you reset time. Majora's Mask is definitely a tough game, especially when you compare it to Ocarina of Time, but it's also really good. Like, it's got one of my favorite worlds in any video game. Just, like, the entire world of Termina is amazing. Alright, jump! Yeah! Off to the bay, that is very great. Ooh! Frappy Snowland! This is literally like all Mario music. You no, know? opponent, you were 100% going fast enough that you could have cleared that. But who am I to argue with my Iron Knuckle horse? Why is the game lagging? The game never lags. Why is it doing this? Maybe it's because I'm streaming and there's a lot going on on screen at a time? I don't know. Alright, what's in this chest? Something good? The moon tier! That just overrode... Oh, wait. Oh. No, my title deed is still there. Can I cycle through that? That would be really nice. Oh, yeah, I've got tons of programs running. So I have... I have uh, Google Chrome going so I can keep an eye on my stream and the chat. I've got the actual emulator running. I've got my tracker, which I used to keep track of all the stuff. I've got OBS running because it's streaming stuff, and I have Discord open. Chrome uses like a jillion gigawatts of CPU. Whatever. I don't have any other options, except Internet Explorer, but I ain't doing that. Hey Macau, it's an alternate version of you! So for some reason you can't push him unless you're Young Link also. Pushing, got, pushing speed got massively upped in this game, in the randomizer. You use Firefox? I probably could use Firefox. And now he plays the really long animation of him walking. <laughs> Look how fast he's going, though. With those tiny little steps. Alright. Ooh. Well, I can't use Psalm of Healing because I don't have it, so later, dude. I can't really do anything in Gordo Fortress, but that's okay. Blam! Alright. Ooh, another grotto with something good in it. Something good in it, something good in it? Oh, it's another stray fairy from Snowhead. I mean, I guess that can be considered good if I can get all 15 of them. <laughs> nice crease. Money? Money! Hey! I'm, I'm happy with that. I like how fast the Zora swimming is when compared to your normal swimming. Cool. More work points. for the ice. Hey, bro. Ooh, you're selling a free boss key. Alright, you have <laughs> a single Tiku stick for 90 rupees. No thanks. 
Ocean Sculpture of Spirit for 20 rupees, and the Snowhead Temple Boss Room Key for 60. I'll buy that for 20. Hi, Fly. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> no, the streamer would never cheat at Mario Kart. What are you talking about? <laughs> Definitely not. You can't prove it. Uh, no, that's the wrong room. Hey, bro, I'm here to see Evan, the band leader. Teach him that magnificent psalm. Yeah, I remembered it! <laughs> I heard a kid playing a psalm. I'm gonna turn it into a hit new psalm! <laughs> and to make sure he doesn't sue me about it later, I'll give him a prize. If you give me the bow, dude, this would be awesome, but you probably won't. Oh, look! It's another stray fairy from Snowhead. Hooray! <laughs> Man, and they were selling those in the shop, too, weren't they? Breaking the Snowhead Temple curse on the Great Fairy might actually be a possibility. Also, I gotta hurry to the hotel if I want to steal the Goron's room, which I absolutely do. I like the fast the song of storing. Storming? That's the room. That's the word. The song of soaring. Whee! Oh my gosh, the dog barking is doing the yeah sound. Because normally the dog just barks twice every few seconds. Oh, oh, yes! I just beat the Goron! <laughs> the Goron's like, I'm about to get the reservation! <laughs> nope, that's my reservation. Oh, that was the lame reward. I don't even have a bottle, so I didn't get anything. But now he has to sleep out in the gutter. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I had to check to make sure it wasn't something good. Alright. I think there's... I think there's more stuff we can do in Great Bay. Oh, that's a lot of lag. Oh, that's a lot of lag. Oof, I don't like that. <laughs> Every time I pick up bombs, it... <laughs> oh, that's so fantastic. Alright, I can I can kill the giant like like at the bottom of the pond. That's something I can do. I can also technically speaking, I believe I could go to Pinnacle Rock without the seahorse, because I think I remember the way. Oh. That might be part of the reason the game's lagging. Leavers are uh, are very lag heavy enemies. I don't know why. But they lag the game a lot more than most other enemies. Oh wait, can I not kill this guy without the magic meter? I think I can. Okay, I can, yeah. Just I'm gonna stun him. Blam! Nope, nope. Oh, I hate I hate how this is there's a current that's constantly pulling me towards him. Oh, sweet, he's dead, though. Oh, yay! All of that for a Sculptula token! It's my lucky day! Oh, that's so great. <laughs> I don't cheat an ultimate chicken horse, that is pure skill. Oh, why? No, why? Oh, lord, no! Ooh. 
Perhaps my computer's not as good as I thought it was. I don't know why I did a pirate voice just there. But people know me well enough that I just, I just do random voices sometimes. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try going to Pinnacle Rock. If I, if, if I actually can remember the exact way through without the seahorse, I will be astounded. It's not as bad as getting through the desert uh, wasteland in Ocarina without the Lens of Truth, but it's similar. Alright. Thankfully, at least there are signs here that serve as landmarks. Alright. Alright, so you go straight from here, you turn at this sign. Keep going until you reach this sign, turn here, turn here, and you do kind of a diagonal here. Aw, oh, darn it. Went out of bounds. Oh, also, I'm coming here without any bottles, so I can't get the Zora eggs. Well, you know what? That's okay. Oh my gosh, I remembered the way for Pinnacle Rock. Woohoo! Alright, you know what? I'm, I'm happy about that. Once again, no magic meter means uh, these eels are going to be in the lane. I gotta take them out the old fashioned way that I used to. It's generally recommended that you use the magical Zora shield to defeat them. But sometimes you don't have that. Oh man, and now we get the bell trying to get underwater. Ugh. Every time you pick up a rupee, the freaky Goron laughs at you. I don't like it. I do like the Frappy Snowland music, though. This is much better than the normal Great Bay music. So tell me, did people find these snakes more or less creepy than the giant eel from I, I always found the Mario 64 eel to be a, a lot more frightening. Hey, Zora Egg, I cannot pick you up. Blam! Oh, oh. Okay. Oh wow, you can actually do Z-target jumps underwater. Hey, how about changing the camera for me? Can you really not change? What is happening? What was that sound? It was like night of the first day. <laughs> oh. The eel from Mario 64 is creepy. I was always creeped out by the eel from Mario 64 a lot more than the infamous piano. No, I, I don't want the Zor eggs. I want the treasure chests. I know there are at least two treasure chests in here. I'm hoping sequence breaking here without the seahorse will give me something good. But it's possible I'm just wasting my time. in here. Take that! I definitely saw a treasure chest in here. There we go. Unfortunately, it's not covered in gold. 
Still could be kind of useful, though. Piece of heart. Wonderful. I like the look of this. Gold covered chest. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, that really wasn't worth it. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on! I'm not even bothering killing the final eel, because he only has a Zora egg back there. I have literally never had this emulator lag before. Now all of a sudden it's a lag city. enter Pirate's Fortress, but... Oh, no, no, no! I am gonna enter Pirate's Fortress, because there are multiple chests underwater that I can grab. Oh, yeah! Like likes appear here at night. For reasons unknown. Pirate's Fortress. Good stuff here, please. Alright, chest number one, it has another ocean sculpture. house music? I can't tell, because the game is lagging. Oh, come on. Whoa, okay, so this must have a boss key in it. <laughs> boss key for the Woodfall Temple! Hey! Alrighty. I will try to remember that. That was worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so much we can do now. I think that's all the chests in here. Yeah. All right. Now I'll just get caught. No dismay, senpai! <laughs> Oof. Sweet, so we can complete the Honey and Darlene games. That's nice. We can also go to the Mountain Village area. Alright, for real? Alright, you know what? I'm actually going to pull up Twitch chat on my phone. So that way I can close Google Chrome and it'll hopefully cut down on the amount of lag. Oh wait, I forgot Twitch app hates my phone. Like, it always asks me to log in on my phone, and I put in my login, and it's like, no, that's not your login, when it is, because I use the exact same login on my computer. Submit! Oh, now it worked! Hooray! Alright, 
Okay, can I please pull up chat? Alrighty, cool. So now I can close that. So now that Google Chrome is closed, hopefully, things will be going much, much more smoothly. Fingers crossed. Alright. Where was I gonna go? I gotta stop the old lady from being mugged, but that's not gonna happen for a while. Oh, I'll go to the laundry pool. Guru Guru Man will be there. <laughs> Good, chat still works on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing the mayor's meeting music and it's getting higher pitched and faster. That's great. Oh, I can also use the uh, moon's tear. Oh, I just realized. Can I even enter the stockpot in to give the guy the piece of paper? I don't know if I can, because it closes, and I don't have the Deku uh, mask. Hey, bro! I heard you wanted the moon's tier. Oh, hey! That's funny. <laughs> he gave me a deed to a different Deku flower. Interesting. All right, well, hmm. Old lady's getting mugged at midnight. Gotta be back there in time for that, but I've got plenty of time. The inverted song of time definitely slows things down. Hey, dude. Alright, hi Didongos. I've gotta be careful here. Because these guys can kill me in one or two hits. Yep. Thankfully, I can kill them in two hits as well. No, oh, please don't blow me up! It's okay. <laughs> Adult's wallet would be great here. But, of course, it's another dumb Sculptula token. I re Ooh, new Fire Temple music. I really hope the Sculptula tokens do not reset when uh, time gets reset, because that, <laughs> that would make things really difficult. At that point, I would just look at the spoiler and be like, where are all the tokens? If I actually needed to collect them. Excellent. You dare attack me. How did that not blow up the snowballs? Like, how? Was it because I wasn't looking at them? Because sometimes Zelda's dumb with that, where it's like, oh, you weren't looking at the bomb when it blew up, so it didn't blow up anything. Uh, I would love some hearts right now. No hearts? 
No hearts. Kingdom hearts, I need more hearts. Mountain Village plays the Gerudo Fortress music. Oh, I hate this sound effect. Nope. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guy at the photo <laughs> uh, shop. <laughs> oh, yeah. You are a gem. Alright, Path to Snowhead will lead nowhere, because I don't have Magic Meter or Goron Mask. Let's head on over to Goron City, then. I actually don't remember if we can enter Goron City if we're not a Goron ourselves. I think we can. If so, we can visit the shop. Oh, we just shot Tingle in the neck. He is most certainly dead. Hi, Tingle. Oh, Mr. Ferry, will you buy one of my maps? Romani's mask? Yes, please. I mean, Romani's mask is only okay, but still. That's a good item to have. Oh, also, I have the Swamp title lead. Forgot to mark that down as well. Okay, cool. We can't enter the village. I know it's cold, but I want to enter Goron Shrine. Uh, hurry up. All right, I will. Oh, thank goodness the crying sound was replaced with the sound of just footsteps. Oh, hey, well. We have 40 rupees to get 20 rupees, 40 rupees to get a swamp sculpture of spirit, and then 80 rupees to get 100 rupees. I guess I'll buy the swamp sculpture token, because I have maxed out rupees anyways. Now, can I put Baby Goron to sleep? Because I have the Goron lullaby, but I don't have the Goron mask. I love how the baby crying is literally just footsteps. It's fantastic. All the Gorons are going, oh, those footsteps are so loud! He won't stop stomping his feet! So will this put him to sleep? No, it won't. It has to be played on the bongo drums. I see how it is. Alright, well, before we go, we can still explore the Lens of Truth Cave. Maybe get a magic meter? That would be lovely. Gals also gotta keep an eye on the time to make sure I don't miss Grandma getting mugged. Hooty hoo! Will you proceed? I will proceed. So I have the lens of truth, but I don't have magic, but thankfully his ferries tell me where to go. And even then, I still screwed up. Woohoo, it seems that you sucked, Link. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Give me a break, dude. Those platforms aren't just invisible, they're also in ice. They are literally invisible blocks of ice. Just begun. What do we have?
have here? Bundle of arrows. Fantastic. Take that. There we go. A powder keg? Well, I can't use that, but that's good to know. I don't even need to pass that stupid powder keg test. I don't even need to get my driver's license. Hey, <laughs> we heard you love explosives. Hey, <laughs> okay. Let's see, where can we go next? We still don't have enough hearts to go for Southern Swamp Poison Water. Uh... Let's go to Clock Town. With Romani's Mask, we can enter the Milk Bar and see what uh, Ingo is serving. Or Talon, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, you are a member because you have your cow mask on. Please enter. Hey, dude. Let's have a drink. What'll it be? Map of Stone Tower Temple? Ice arrows for 200 rupees. I'll take the map of Stone Tower Temple. Oh wait, map of Stone Tower Temple or map of Stone Tower? Oh no, it's map of Stone Tower. Oh, that's even better. Nice. Okay, so I've seen some strats on how to get inside Stockpot in without the Deku mask uh, late at night because the main door is locked. Apparently, Zora can clip up here somehow. Gonna try it for a bit. At the very least, I think I can visit Hand in the Toilet on the night of the third day, because they leave the stock button unlocked. Alright, maybe that won't work. Or maybe it will. Hang on now. Actually, I think the Zora Link would do a run jump farther. Yeah, darn. Alright, maybe that's not possible. There's not much else I can do around here, except just sit here and wait for old lady to get mugged, so I think I'll unslow time for a bit. I can also check it- oh wait, well Curiosity Shop won't have anything. Not until the final day. Alright, Grandma! As soon as midnight strikes, Grandma will be coming through here. Boom. There she is. <laughs> Grandma, I will be your personal bodyguard. I have a giant rainbow sword. Nobody will try to rob you. Actually, they will, but... I will kill them. <laughs> How did Seikon just know this old lady was going to show up? Take that. How dare you. <laughs> I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Yeah, right. 
Also, I love how you can literally, if you shoot him with an arrow, he will literally disintegrate. Like, he, the, the bag he's carrying will explode. Oh! Oh, bomb shoes, eh? I mean, they aren't great, but I'll take them. And now she'll get the new thing in the bomb shop tomorrow. I love how the cow mask is like, you feel so grown up when you put on this mask. It's like, really? You do? I don't think so. Okay. Mr. Hand in the toilet, I cannot reach you today. I wonder if I can do swordsman school if I don't have a sword. I do have the great fairy sword. Let's check. Oh. <laughs> Darn it. Great fairy sword don't count. Oh, well. Sorry. Ugh. Okay, never mind. I'm not opening up my text messages during stream again. I opened my text messages and my sibling sent me a photo of Cinderella's ugly stepsister potholders. I did not ask for that. Oh, hey, it's the night shift clerk. He looks nice. Whatever. Oh my gosh, that's expensive. I have no use for that. I think I'll buy a Great Bay Temple Stray Fairy. So I bought the cheaper one, I'll have to remember that. I bought the cheaper one, not the more expensive one. Alright, where else can I go? Oh, I can do swamp archery now. I don't really want to. I'm trying to think of where all I can still go. I can go to the graveyard. The kind of graveyard. Better than nothing. I can't open the grave tonight, but I can at least go to the hidden grotto there. I'd, I'd rather do basically anything than swamp archery at this point. Hi, Epona! Hey, girl! <laughs> Churn! Oh yeah, there's still a red rupee lying out on one of those pillars as well. Now here's the question. There's another pillar up here. Can I... I don't think... I do not think I can scale up this one. This one's crooked. I freaking hate these bubbles, by the way. They always hit you and they disable your sword ability for like literally five minutes. Yeah, in your face, yeah. I do not like this, Sam I am. Do not like it, Sam I am. And now we got the style children who will probably try to kill me. The things I do to avoid the archery games. I hate the archery games. Town Archery 1 is pretty fun. Town Archery 2 is nearly impossible. And then the swamp archeries are not quite that hard, but they're close. Please, please be the hook shot. Heart container! I'll take that! Ooh, yeah, I'll definitely take that, because I do believe... Yes. The default low heart sound is not that. 
That's the sound normally that Tattle, your fairy, gives when they, uh, she wants to talk to you. The normal low heart sound is the same one from Ocarina. Like that da dun da dun da dun Admittedly, this is probably not as annoying, but I hate any low heart sound, so I just want to get rid of it. Alright, now that we got free heart containers, we should be able to go for Southern Swamp. With should being the keyword. Oh, we could have... Uh, we might have been able to go for there with just two Harkonnairs, but I didn't want to push it. And now we can go to the Swamp Sculptula House, which is going to be filled with things we can grab. There's normal, there's like 30 things in here. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, I'm excited. I just have to make sure none of these kill me. <gasps> a shield! That's actually pretty nice, because now we can crouch. Another piece of heart. I like that. We don't have a bottle, so we can't get every check in here, but we can get a lot of them. We can also now do bomb crouches. <laughs> we got the circus leader's mask, the crying Talon one. Oh, we also can't get everything without the hook shot. That's fine. That is not what I said. No! Twenty dollars. This is normally where you get all the swamp sculptula stuff. Piece of heart? Yeah, I kind of want that. Geronimo! Ooh, four heart containers. I like that. A map of Great Bay! Now that's nice. I like that. I think I'm saying I like that too much. I can't help it. There's just so much to like. And Oh, kill him. Stone Tower Temple Great. No! I did not want you to jump off there, you lackwit. Ah, well. Alright. It's tricky to aim. So close. There! There we go! Is that the light arrows right there that I... No, that's Camaro's mask. <laughs> oh, hey, an actual swamp sculpture in the token. Uh, well, Camaro's mask isn't that great, so I'm not too sad about missing that. And we get a Stone Tower Temple with Stray Fairy. to wait for him to come down low so we can jump to him. Ah. 
Ooh, another snowhead stray fairy. Sweet. All right, the mother load waits in there. If you gotta go fill your tire up, Mobius, you do that. Be productive. I will probably still be here when you get back. I'm at the I'm at the very least I'm gonna be completing a full three day cycle in this uh, stream. Don't stop walking onto the Camaro mask that I can't get. I wanna no, I wanna go in there. Stop looking at the Camaro mask and jump in. Yes! There we go. Mother load is this way. Oh, look at all these prizes. A lot of pieces of heart, eh? An empty bottle? Oh, wow! That's actually really good. And I had it immediately filled up with milk. That is less good. Okay, that was a lot of pieces of heart, but I'm really glad I got that empty bottle. So I can fill it up with bugs. Because bugs lead to even more prizes. Top one? There are two in there are two of those skull sculptures in these beehives. And there are unfortunately also bees, but okay, cool, I didn't hit the bees. Alright, what's in this one? A Great Bay Stray Fairy. Haven't found any Woodfall Stray Fairies except the one in, in the shop. the sleeping Deku scrub, I just want to grab my Sculptulus. will lead me to something good here, hopefully. At this point, I would really like the hook shot. I, I can also do it with another piece of heart. That sounds good to me. I love how big the Great Fairy Sword is. Like, a lot of people don't like the Great Fairy Sword because it's really, really hard to get, and by the time you get it, you pretty much have the Fierce Deity Mask, which is better. But I gotta say, getting the Great Fairy Sword is your first sword. It's a really great first sword they get. Alright. 
What could be behind? What could be behind curtain number two? Come on, give me the goods. Also, yeah, closing Google Chrome. Completely removed the lag. Oh, more bomb juice. But that's just fantabulous. Also, I love how the actual number of tokens shown in the bottom left corner is the actual number of tokens I have gotten, and not the number of sculptures I've killed. What does this guy have? A silver rupee. I mean, that's nice, but not necessary, so I don't have to come back for that. What do you have? A blue potion. That's actually really nice. Blue potions, besides just being all around good items, you need it for the bottom of the well. And then that, this guy is my last one. Ooh, adult wallet. Oh yeah, I'm really glad I got that. Oh, that's actually, that's really great. I'm so happy to get that wallet. All right, well, that's it for the Swamp Sculptula House. We got a lot of stuff there. We got a bottle, we got the adult wallet. Actually, we got a shield. Small key for Stone Tower Temple. Well. <laughs> Deku Scrub Sound. Nice. Nothing else we can do over here. I am going to go back to Summer and Swamp, though, because now that it's day two, we can get the grotto in the... Woods of Mystery. So was there more stuff we could have bought at the med? No, we bought the two important things of magic hags. Yeah, so now we go this way. And for some reason we couldn't do that uh, on the first day. And this leads to a grotto. This is one of those evil grottos that's hidden from you. Oh look, another Strafe Fairy. Whoa, new music. Oh my gosh, it's... It's the Raceways for Mario Kart 64. Oh, that's so good. Do, 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 do. I love this music a lot. That's fine. I'll go to Honey and Darling. Day two. Thankfully, this is one of the easier games.
In theory, you'd think this one would be the hardest game where you have to play basketball with bombs, but it's actually really easy. It's pretty generous on whether well, it counts as a basket or not. Oh, but sometimes you run off the platform. Yeah, you won, but you'll be giving me 50 bucks pretty soon. Yeah, like, the, they kind of get sucked into the baskets if you get them at close, which is great. I actually really like that design. Makes this a lot more fun and a lot less frustrating. And that's the game. Do, 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 perfect! And the third day's game is arguably even easier than that. <laughs> do 50 bucks! I'll do Town Archery 1. I'm not gonna do Town Archery 2 unless I have, like, no choice. Town Archery 2, you have to get literally a perfect score, which is very difficult. Here, though, we only have to get 40 or more points. And this is why I'm not gaming for the perfect, because I suck at this. Yeah, I just suck at the archery game. Oh no, come on. Good. At least got above 40. Oh, mirror shield! Okay, well that's definitely good. Glad I did that. Probably won't be using the mirror shield for long, but for a long time, still glad to have it. Let's see what's going on. What should we do next? I really do not know. Oh, yeah, we'll see what's new at the bomb shop, because we saved the old lady, so now there's something new. It's magic beans. No, thank you. That is a ripoff. I will buy the Snowhead Stray Fairy, though. Don't need Woodfall Compass. I know that dungeon very well. I'll buy the more expensive Ocean Spirit, though. Oh, good. And he sells red potion. Oh, wait. He sells red potion. Oh, I'm gonna get some dollars. Oh, and I know exactly how to get dollars. We can kill that bird over by Milk Road. It would be nice if we had fire arrows we could use on it, but regular arrows will work just fine. <laughs> Yeah, 
this bird gives you 200 bucks if you kill it. Which is very wonderful. I'm playing the risky game trying to hit it with the sword, because it deals more damage, but also that if uh, he hits me while I have the sword out, he can steal my sword. There we go. Give me that money, me give me that money. Ooh, we can get the first bank reward too. Just right here, right now. The red potion will be nice because we can use that to revive Kyame. Which will lead us to one reward, and we can get to Deku Palace. Deku Palace won't have anything, though, if we can't be a Deku. Yes, I will deposit rupees, because I have 200 right here. Give me my prize. of heart. Alright, we can all... S yeah, I'm gonna kill that bird again. <laughs> that bird just gives you so much money. But apart from getting money, I'm trying to think. What else can I do? Nope! You got my bottle! Put that back. Put that back. Put that freaking back! What the heck?! I smacked him, though. He should have dropped it. Well, great. Now they'll have to buy that at the curiosity shop tonight, and now the bird won't spawn anymore. <laughs> oh, Rocky's really mad now. <laughs> well, maybe I won't do Swamp Archery then. Oh, wait a second. How did I miss this? Where is it? Where is it? It's around here somewhere. There we go. I forgot about this cave. We can kill the uh, pea hat in here. Kill the pea hat, and bada beam bada boom, we get a treasure chest. I totally forgot about this place. <laughs> Oh boy, thank goodness we get another ocean sculpture. <laughs> thank goodness. I suppose we could do like a tiny bit of the ocean sculpture house as well. Oh man, without our bottle, we can't feed the lab fish, which I was also going to do. Bummer. Might as well explore a little bit of the ocean house. Should be sculpture or two we can get here. Piece of heart. What do you want? 
Hope that's a bottle of milk and not just regular milk. Oh, it's an actual bottle! Yes! <laughs> yes, actual bottle of milk. Now we can put a fish in here and feed the fish. And I'll check out if we got our second bottle. <laughs> you can back a while up there. Normally you're supposed to use the Goron to roll out. <laughs> Alrighty, and there's a fish right here in this grotto back here. Every, like, generic grotto like this has a fish in it. And I turned on fast lab fish, so we only have to put one in instead of, like, ten. So is Macau just still on the beach? pushed him here earlier, and then we just totally left him there, because we don't have something. Yep, he's still there. <laughs> Attaboy. Let's feed the fish. Yeah, they're both very big, so we feed one of them one fish, and then he'll eat the other fish. <gasps> Deco mask! Oh, yes. The day is saved. Oh, that's such a good mask. You are in my power. Alright, well, now what we're gonna do... <laughs> now we're gonna buy a red potion. And then we can go back to... Southern Swamp. I do believe we need... Rupees, though. 30 of them. Getting rupees in this isn't quite as easy as it is in Ocarina of Time, but there's still lots of easy ways to make money. Oh, I find if you destroyed all the bushes, you got a red rupee. And hey, now we can enter Stockpot in at night! So we got that, <laughs> the hand in the toilet, we got you covered. Oh wow, really? We're missing one. I would like to buy something. <laughs> Hi. 
Darn it! It is 40. Yeah, you're so mad it costs 40! Yeah. I was hoping that that would have a blue group inside. And Tiku Scrub is now our fastest mode of travel, apart from Apona. I would like to buy a red potion, please. Hi. Please stop giving me alerts while I am streaming. No one wants to hear that sound effect, Microsoft. Here's a question. What's the Deku Scrub in the Swamp selling to Deku Scrubs? So I'm just gonna take that bottle off, or the red potion off, just in case my C stick accidentally acts up and says, oh, you used it. So we just need 10 rupees to buy whatever Deku Scrub is selling. Stone Tower Temple Small Key? I mean, why not? <laughs> if only you sold more than one. That would actually make the dungeon a whole lot easier. I don't remember the exact path on this second day. Uh, I think this is a completely different screen, technically, than when we had last time, but whatever. Got your red potion cover. <laughs> Link's just like, here you go, lady. Ooh, Kiyome is revived. You better give me something good. That is indeed the lady who's the boss of the Desert Temple in Ocarina of Time. Every character in Majora's Mask is basically a, a character model taken from 
Ocarina of Time, almost every character. So, like, they're reused from Ocarina of Time, but they're nice in this. Alright, what you giving me? You're giving me the map for Snowhead, Snow, Snowhead Temple. And now I see no reason why we can't just turbo through this. Oh, I also forgot. Well, I think I actually have to clear the Woodfall Temple in order to do it, but then there's a mini game we can play with that lady, with uh, Kiyome. It's like what Disney did with the movie dance sequences. <laughs> Now arriving at Deku Palace, and this is where we're going to disembark. Yes, we are in disembarking. It would be great if we had the stone mask here, but we don't. But that's fine, we can make do with it. Oh, this is not as good as the normal Deku Palace music. Hey, hey girls! I don't know if they're girls or not. They said to go straight. We're gonna go a different way. So now we gotta be stealthy. Which is not my forte. <sighs> Helps if it's at night where you can actually see how far they can see. Gotta be patient here, because these Deku guards can see out of the back of their heads. Oh, hi. No, I don't want you to catch me. Oh, all, all of this for a Skullchilla token. Why am I not surprised? And it's for the ocean sculpture of the palace. Hey! What's up? Was it something I said? We told you! Go to the royal chamber! Oh, that's the one on the right! No, it's not, you doofus! Nope. If I do that, I will probably get caught. Ooh, money, baby. All right. mm, that was needlessly risky. Okay. Well, it's nice to be for that. Hey, dude. What you gonna give me? You're giving me... Oh, finally, our first Woodfall Stray Fairy. Now he just sells magic beans. For ten rubies apiece. So we're gonna get one for here, we're gonna get one for the outer wall. One for Great Bay. And... One for main. Alright. How many magic beans was that? That is four magic beans. One, two, three, four. Oh. It doesn't count how many in the tracker. It just says we have them. Alright, that's fine. No, he was he was not making the redead sound. Nope. That's just how he sounds. Now we can plant a magic bean here. Get whatever chest is up here. Oh, it's probably not important. 
But we're gonna grab it anyways. I love how every time we get a piece of heart, it's like, Oh, you won the horse race! Dun, 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 dun. Excuse me, sir. Can I tell you about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Um, okay. <laughs> they hated him because he told the truth. Let's save the foolish monkey. Well, let's learn whatever Sony has. Could just be five rupees for all I know. Deku Scrubs are Jewish? I don't... F <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Not everyone will get. <laughs> I like it, though. Alright. So we don't have the ability to shoot bubbles, but we do have a bow. What the heck was that? That was the sound that Toad makes. Toad the mini-boss, not Toad from Mario. If it's raining, why do you even need to water the magic beans? I don't know, because it needs spring water. It needs special water from the swamp in order to grow. This is just regular rainwater. Don't ask questions! Oh, is that the sound the Deku Scrubs make when they die? The same sound of the mini-boss? Yep. a little closer. There we go. Bada beam, bada boom. Off to see the foolish monkey. I'd say that was worth it. I know that's pretty far out of the way to go, but that's a good reward. Especially with how rare heart containers are in this. Now we'll go off to Woodfall. First, we're going to deal with these dragonflies before they can be a pain in our rear. Dragonflies are some of the most annoying enemies in this. And it is weird hearing the snow music in this world. Actually, it just occurred to me. Okay, no. I was about to say, because I chose crazy starting items, there was a chance I could have had a psalm I didn't even know about. But I did not. I probably just started with junk items like rupees. Yeah, that's a recovery heart, because that's where the psalm soaring was. And I started with it, so that just changed into a recovery heart. Anyhow. Here we are at Woodfall. There's a lot of chests here, so I'm eager to check these out. Stars. Woodfall Stray Fairy, that's fitting. Oh, these enemies suck, too. What are these guys even called? 
hip loops. Oh, I hate these enemies so much. Thankfully, I can introduce them to my great fairy sword. <laughs> you chose poorly. Never work point. We do not have Sonata of Awakening, so we can't open the dungeon. But no matter. There's still more chests. No! Stupid. I hate it how, like, you can't control how far you jump, really. It's just like, oh, you're jumping, you're jumping all the way. This is where all the Woodfall stray fairies are. They're in Woodfall. Oh, I thought I made that. Shoop! Well, those guys are significantly less annoying when you don't have to... when you have the Great Fairy Sword. I know what that sound is. <laughs> wow, okay, so this is just land of the stray fairies, apparently. Get some more spring water. And we can plant more magic beans. Just occurred to me that we might not even be able to plant one of those magic beans. Because we need the hook shot in order to reach it. What the heck? Um, you are not supposed to appear there. <laughs> what the heck? That was weird. Oh, I have 20 rupees. I'll give Swamp Archery a try. Swamp Shooting Gallery. <laughs> Oi, mate, wanna play? I'll give it a try. Okay, the mixed up sound effects are actually messing me up. That is an interesting sound for the wolfos to make. Man, 
These gooeys are so hard to hit. There we go. Perfect. I mean, technically I missed a lot of shots, but I hit every target. With ten seconds to spare. Oi, mate! Here, take a woodfall straight fairy from Hagrid. I hope this magic bean will eat somewhere nice, like a hook shot. Oh, it doesn't even lead to a gold-plated chest, so... Doesn't look like you can plant this here. It still doesn't look like you can plant this here. Herp derp. Back to Great Bay. I don't really know what we can do there, though. I guess... I think there was some stuff in the shop. But it was nothing, like, super important. for a bit. Where can I go? I don't want to do tar Town Archery Perfect. Actually, you know, hmm, I'm debating just checking the spoiler to see if Town Archery 2 has anything worthwhile. Because if it does, I, I do need to know that. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm just going to check Town Archery... Okay, no it doesn't. That, that's a big relief. I should have checked it off saying I don't want anything there, because I'm like, I'm basically incapable of completing Town Archery 2. Can't do anything in the Icona Graveyard. I can't enter Icona Canyon. I need the hook shot, basically. <sighs> Can't really. I don't think there's anything left. Oh wait, no. I know where I'm going. Um, I definitely did not say that. I'm gonna warp back to Mountain Village because I've got the Swamp Title Deed, so I can trade it to the Deku Scrub who's hanging out there. It's a small thing, but it might lead somewhere. I can also check to see if I can backwalk up some of these slopes. Yeah, like, can I backwalk up this? No, I cannot. 
Worth a try. Because if I did, I could have reached the secret grotto. <laughs> it's night time. Yeah, so you can press A and swap between- oh, that's a really nice touch. It used to be if you had, like, the Swamp Title lead and then in the randomizer you got the Ocean Title lead, you would lose the Swamp Title lead. Hey, bro! Oh, he's just selling arrows, that sucks. Well, here you go. That's the Swamp Title deed. <gasps> HOOKSHOT! Oh, that opens up so much. All right, we're going back to Great Bay right after these brief messages. <laughs> oh man, with hook shot, so. Oh man. So right off the bat, this opens up a ton of the pirates' fortress in Great Bay. It also opens up the entire waterfall area in Great Bay. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna go waterfall first. Yeah, you see those two chests on the map? That's over by the waterfall area. Yes, that was like the perfect thing I could have gotten. As long as I can avoid these like likes, I'll be good to go. Alright, gold plated chest up there, I like that. Precise hook shot. Ooh, Song of Storms. I mean, that's not that great. Don't stand so close to a like like. I'll stand as close to the like like as I want. The tree branch was between us, anyways. That's weird. That's like the first time I've taken fall damage from using the hook shot. <laughs> don't I wish... <laughs> don't you wish you were a dolphin? No. I am very happy being a human. I also am not a big fan of the ocean. <laughs> Stop getting stuck on the tree, Link. Grab yourself a second chest. I like this whole hook shotting area on the palm trees. It's very fun. Alright. Time for waterfall races. Thankfully, the randomizer allows you to skip two of the four races. These beavers do not look... You wish you could temporarily turn into a dolphin. Or, I, I... I see that. Oh, these, these, these beavers, man. They do not belong in Zelda. Look at his eyes. Well, bad angle. So we get to skip the race with the little brother and go straight to the big brother race. Which is good, because they're literally the same race, just this one is more rings. Whee! 
Look at the frame rate on those hoops, eh? It's like two frames. That's smooth animation, that would be. Stealth music doesn't fit for the race. <laughs> Although admittedly the Zora underwater controls are arguably some of the better controls for underwater games in N64. Comparing this to like Rayman 2, Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie. Maybe Donkey Kong 64 as well. Yeah, maybe this is a bit better. But it still has its share of problems. <laughs> Zeusy, I'm home! Did this come before or after Superman 64? I'm um, after. Majora's Mask was one of the last N64 games, I believe. Yeah, oh. The, young, the orange beaver's eyes, man. Oh, race. I think this is basically the same race, just with a stricter time limit. The rains might be in a slightly different location as well. <laughs> so you already have to do this race twice, but in the regular game, not the randomizer, you have to do this four times. Two to get the first prize, two to get the second. Oh, those nice little time saves. Alright, after this, I can go to Gerudo Fortress. Hook shot my way. Whoa! Hook shot my way around World Showcase in Epcot. <laughs> and bada beam, bada boom. It's simplicious. I would like to see, like, speedrunners race each other in Majora's <laughs> Seeds. It just takes so long. Most Seeds take around 10 to 12 hours to beat. Yeah, because they put, like, custom music in the randomizer, I don't even have to play my own Twitch playlist during this. Blam! Alright, two pieces of heart. That was a little bit of a letdown. <laughs> the moon's just, like, photobombing in the background. Alright. Off to Great Bay Coast now. Oh, we can also explore more of the Sculptula House. Oh, that's what we're gonna do next. The Oceanside Sculptula House. That has so many prizes inside. Maybe we'll find a magic meter. I also have to remember to buy my first bottle back from the Curiosity Shop. Thankfully, I think he'll only charge 20 bucks. Oh, and I can get the Camaro's Mask from in the Swamp Sculptural House as well. It is possible to hit this Skulltula without burning. It's a bit of a precise angle. Oh, actually that wasn't that bad at all. Nope, 
that's wrong. Swamp school joy. Not straight victory. the library. Watch out for the style, children. I'll just let him laugh to himself. There's another stray fairy from Woodfall. Or Woodfall, Snowhead. Oh boy, Deku Nuts. <laughs> My favorite. for the fun part, getting up to the bookshelves. Stay on. Link, please just grab on to the dang shelf. Link? By the way, if this looks annoying, this is a much more annoying than it even looks. Because I am not manually changing the camera until you, unless you hear this. Like the sound. So the camera was changing by itself. There we go. All right. sucked. Alright. We have not been finding anything good in here. A bit disappointing. Are you show yourself? Ooh, a psalm? A psalm of healing. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, we can finally save Macau, who's been dying on the beach for like two days now. Oh, the land title deed. 
That's nice. Why is that not burning? That is bogus. That should be burning. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> Princess Ida, what a present pleasant surprise. Like that. <laughs> I don't know if one little black shadow warrants the mini boss music. My bottle filled with milk, but I already had it filled with red potions, so that didn't do anything. I totally forgot this existed. Ah, uh, we can take a photo of Tingle. Not even joking about that, Ivor. If you take a photo of Tingle and show it to the guy at the Picto Box shop, he'll give you a piece of art. Garrow's mask. Not what I was expecting. A <laughs> piece of art there. That's funny. Letter to cafe. Well. Also, we still don't have the bomber's notebook, which is amusing. And that's one of the first things you're supposed to get in the game. All right, now this is the room filled with the people eating at the table. Oh, 
Oh my gosh! It's the new wave bossa nova. Oh, this means I can enter Great Bay Temple. Well, that does make things interesting now, doesn't it? I didn't mean to kill you. Small key for Snowhead Temple. I like how these style children just, they don't care. I just killed two of their best friends and they're like, oh, well, you know, we're already dead, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Oh my gosh, I mastered the spin attack. That's not the sword, but okay. I can't even use magic, so it's completely useless. Come on. Okay, Link. Blam! <laughs> oh boy, chomp chomp magic beans. Thank goodness. I'm mistaken. I believe that's all of the sculptures we can get for now. We can come back later once we have the captain's hat to get the chest inside here. Otherwise, um, hmm. all right, clock town because we gotta buy back our bottle before the second night is over. Postman, what are you doing out this late? my bottle back. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for selling me my own property back, dude. You are a gem. buy the token or is that 80? Of course that's 80. Already bought those two. Don't think I bought the small key for Snowhead though. What's this? Uh, sure, I'll deposit more money. If I put in a thousand rupees, then I can get another prize. Hopefully there's nothing there, but you never know. Anyhow, stock pot in because I'm going to give <laughs> Cafe's precious letter to the hand in the toilet. Oh 
knows? He might give me 200 rupees. <laughs> Paper, here you go. Yay! Fell down, I'll give it to you. Fire arrows? Who dropped fire arrows in the toilet? <laughs> Whoever did is a terrible person. Fire arrows are one of the best items. <laughs> wow. I guess somebody went to the bathroom because they were having heartburn. Whack a whack a do what? Yeah. Oh, uh, where was I gonna go? I could go to Great Bay. Yeah, I think Great Bay is the next best bet. But first, I need some swamp water. While I'm at it, I'll give the land title deed over to the Deku Scrub here. Oh, and I should go back to Swamp Sculpture House, get Camaro's mask. Oh wait, no. Wrong thing. I have to talk to him as regular Link. Ooh, 50 bucks! Thank you! That was a good deal. Now, please let me use your flower. I know Mountain Deku Scrub technically has the deed, but I didn't think he would show up. Okie dokie, artichokey. for barking like that. That was funny. Oh, we can also grab the 100 bucks in here as well. The $100 that is not necessary, but will definitely help out our bank account. I just realized this is like an alternate version of the Fire Temple music. Slightly different instruments. Oh shoot, I should have... Darn it! Should have drank the red potion first. Oh well, I don't think that'll really matter. Gimme that... Camaro mask. back to Clock Town to use that Camaro mask to get the reward. And then we will go to Great Bay. We really haven't gotten that many masks considering all the places we've checked. me dance it's such a groovy thing to do at night watch as we all dance in sync with all our might <laughs> you are our master give me a good reward that's a sucky reward <laughs> 
<laughs> I am cool, it's true. I feel like there's one, there's always like one transformation max, mask that eludes you for a large part of the seed. In this case, that's the Goron mask. Alright, hey dude. Zoop. Oh, I just realized I should be... Well, I just realized I randomized cow milk as well, so I should be looking for some of that. Hence why I keep getting all these milk fills. Later, dude! Alright, I keep saying, like, alright, now we'll go to Great Bay, but I keep delaying it because I keep thinking, like, oh, wait, no, there are other things we can do. Great Bay is a bit of a commitment. Gossip Stone side quest now. I would love to get the Bunny Hood soon as well. The Bunny Hood's another great mask, just because it doesn't, again, it doesn't do anything. The only thing it actually does is makes it easier to complete one of the minigames. But apart from that, it just makes you faster, which is great. This is where I wish I had either Bunny Hood or Goron Mask, because both of those can make you go real fast. I just realized, oh man, if Great Bay Temple is open, there are so many checks I can do there because of all the stray fairies inside. But I also don't have ice arrows, so... Unless, and I don't have magic. Which means I'm not likely to go for that dungeon. Not mean to do that. Doo -doo -doo. Some of the side quests of Majora are just really weird. Like, this Gossip Stone side quest is very, very strange because it requires the Gossip Stones to behave in a way that they don't anywhere else. Oh, also, can't forget about the guy's shelter, now that we've got a hundred dollars. Hi! A silver rupee for 150 rupees. No. How about for 100 rupees? That's, I'm, I'm breaking even at that point. But on the off chance that I get the 100 rupees before losing the 100 rupees, I ain't doing that. I like how we still get music even at night.
Alright. Goron Mask would be great, so would Magic. Stray Fairy from... Wow. From Great Bay Temple. Yeehaw. We're off to Great Bay for realsies this time. Off we go. Alright, hey dude, I know you've been dying on the beach for a long time. But we can save you now. Oh, darn it. There was something I forgot to do in Termina. That's fine. We can get it later. <laughs> Happy music as he's dying. The Blast Mask. He went out with a bane. <laughs> oh my gosh, we haven't even started the third day and I've been streaming for almost three hours. Man, that's how Majora randomizers go sometimes. Hi, bye. go. Hi, cows. <laughs> I really should drink my red potion. But if I get a magic meter, I can use it to uh, help Shiro out. So I can't tell if that was vanilla because those two cows give her the same prize, or if that cow actually just gave normal milk. Why did that scarecrow not appear? There you go. Oh, that's double defense. Oh, that's going to be really good. Yes, please give me that double defense. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. All right, back to Gerudo Fortress. We can't explore every fane in here, but we can explore a lot more now that we have the hook shot. Although I really wish we had the stone mask. Oh, this is also, I think, the Bottle Grotto music from Link's Awakening. Yeah, normally we need Goron Link in order to enter, but if we get the hookshot early, we can bada beam bada boom. Also, sorry, Zoras, I ain't getting none of them eggs today. Regular enemy music is the mini-boss music. Mini-boss music is the regular enemy music. That's funny. Everything's backwards! Oh, excellent. I picked the right one. This is the place that has the actual treasure chest. Twenty dollars?! Oh boy! I got eaten alive by Skeleton Piranha, but it doesn't matter because I got 20 bucks. <laughs> if you are in a situation where that sounds like something you would actually say, I, I would I would rethink my life. And this is one place where having the map is actually really nice. That scared me a little. I thought someone had caught me. Take that beehive. And it's a gold chest. I wonder if it's a magic meter. I would love that. So we still need Ice Arrows, Light Arrows, the Magic Meter, Elegy of Emptiness, Oath to Order, Sonata of Awakening, and either Garo Mask or Gibdo Mask. And then at that point, I think we're in Go Mode. Oh, yeah! Another heart container. I've gotten, I think, almost every heart container now, even including the two extras that were added to the pool. Remember, I started this game with one heart.
All right, this room is... Uh, actually, wait a second. Why am I going this way? There are no chests this way. Only a Zora egg. Perhaps I'll try to get a picture of a Gerudo here. Because that will get me the seahorse, and I can go back to Pinnacle Rock and get their reward. You gotta get real close, though. Yeah, picked up box is so slow in the randomizer for some reason. I think it's just for emulator. It's normal to start with free in this, yeah. But I selected the crazy starting items, which basically means you can start with one heart, and the two other hearts you normally would start with would be heart containers that are put into the pool. Alright, if he's not happy with that one, then he's just an unhappy soul. Hey, you halt! Alright, I'll cooperate! Alright, now let's go in the main way. Now we can explore the rest of the fortress and get the rest of the treasures. I hope, th th I hope there's nothing hidden behind the Zora eggs. Not a fan of this music. This is very repetitive music. Alright. into the fortress we go. Ah, yeah, this room. This has got some treasure in it. What could be in chest number one? Another stray fairy from the Stone Tower Temple. Map of Romani Ranch. Oh yeah, I still have a powder cake, don't I? There's not much I can bowl up now because the way to Romani Ranch is already opened. forgot about this boy which would have been a shame because that is a bottle of golden dust so I found a red potion I found that I have found milk I have found the seahorse and I have not found the Chateau Romani
Oh man, okay. Well, if only I had found that golden dust a little earlier. Then I could have actually made, done something with it. But you gotta get the gold dust before the final day if you wanna do something with it. I can't remember if there are any more chests up ahead. I'm gonna keep looking anyways, though. I think this is kind of where it all lines up, though. I think this is where it connects with the rest of the fortress. Yep. Oh, well. Hmm, I'll show the guy the, the pictograph of the pirate. He'll like that. I didn't mean to leave right away. I, I was interested. I just thought the camera would have changed. And... I do have a photo of a female pirate. I was about to be, wait, do I have filled up bottles? If so, I just wasted it. Alright, off to Pinnacle Rock. We have one water snake left to defeat. And then the seahorses will be reunited, and bada bing bada boom, I can get whatever their heart piece is. I guess I can sell the gold dust at the curiosity shop and I can boost my uh, money count that way. Get rid of all the water snake, dude. I am so far ahead of you. Wait, they respawn? Oh, that's bogus. What do you mean they respawn? I killed them all, except one. Should have finished the last one off. I thought they did. I didn't think they would respawn. Maybe you just have to kill one of the ones at the very bottom. I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. better be worth it. I'm going for a lot of trouble to get these two seahorses to be reunited. It's like they give me 
10 Deku Nuts. That very well could happen. More likely it'll just be another Sculptula token, though. But who knows, maybe it'll be the Elegy of Emptiness. Rats, I do have to kill them all. not be completing this seed in one stream, but I'm going to finish the three-day cycle for this stream. So once we do, once we finish this, I'm gonna I'm going to take a photo with Tingle, show it to his dad, get whatever that is. I'm going to complete the final day of Honey and Darling's adventure. Uh, I'm gonna try to complete the treasure chest minigame as the Goron. Uh, there's something in Termina Field with involving cows that I need to do. Oh, I can. Oh no, I can't. I was about to be. Now that I have the Goron mask, I can complete the uh, Toto Fane in the Milk Bar, but you can't do that on the first day. It has to be on day one or two. Last snake. These seahorses better make it worth my while. <laughs> Alright, seahorses, the cove is all yours. Magic meter, please. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't even carry that. I mean, that's generous of them, but I can't even carry that. Blah, yakety yakety yak. Oh, I, sh I also want to go to Romani Ranch. Now that it's open, I can get whatever chest is in the uh, dog race. So I think now that I have the powder keg, I can buy powder kegs from the Goron in the bomb shop. I don't think I actually have to pass the license. The license challenge. Alright, dog race track. I am not going to gamble on the dog. Oh no. I should not be here. The dogs are talking. Oh look, a Swamp Sculpture token. It's my 13th one. How lucky. Head the dog track. Hey, hey, hey. Milk Road.
something that I should have done basically at the start of this, uh, this, yeah, basically at the start of this cycle, right after I got bombs. Special hole down here with some cows. Razor sword? Wait, nope. I do not have the gilded sword, I have the razor sword. Well, that would have been nice to get earlier. Like, way earlier. Now we actually have a sword. <gasps> Magic power! Yes! Oh my gosh. The world is my oyster now. Not quite. Still can't get into Akana Canyon, but... Oh, yeah! Watch out, world! Here comes Colorful Hardy! Oh. Oh. oh, I've been waiting for that. Now I can do Swordsman School. First... I'd like to deposit almost all of my money. I will deposit 180. Still need some for the Honey and Darling challenge. And for Swordsman School. Hello, dude. Expert course, of course. So if, if the Razor Sword loses its sharpness, will it turn into the Kokiri Sword, or will I just be out of the sword? That's something interesting. I think I'll go to the Kokiri Sword. Or, the, I'm sorry, the Hero Sword. Bada beam, bada boom. Oh. You con artist! That guy's the worst! I paid 10 rupees to do that, and he's like, Oh, you did it absolutely perfectly. Here, have 5 rupees. Alright, you know what? <laughs> I gotta do Honey and Darling's game, though, before nightfall. Oh, I should have had more rupees for the treasure shop game. Oh, well. Hey, girl. I hope I can do this in one go. This is gen I feel like this is either the easiest or the second easiest of the games, though. What I've been I hit that. This game's the easiest. Proceeds to have a lot of trouble with it. I'm sorry, didn't mean to shoot you two. The worst part about this is the platform moves. And, like, it moves vertically and horizontally. Oh, and the and the earthquakes are not helping either. I like that. Now we can do Keaton's quiz. Good night, Mobius. Have a good one. Oh, also, there are two chests I can get in the main area now as well. 
I could have gotten them as soon as the hook shot came out. in this chest. Oh, of course it's a never token. Now this chest is here because it's the final day. Dude, I don't care about your work day. Just open the chest. Give me the woodfall fairy. <laughs> Keaton's quiz. Oh, shoot. Uh, I forgot to put the mask on. Don't go Well, uh, you know what? I can't complain of that because I got a whole bunch of rupees from that. And I can do the treasure shop game now. And hopefully we can beat it in one go because, boy howdy, that is an RNG-based one. Alright, stand in the middle. Alright, well now we got enough for two goes. Hi, Keaton. Alright, what is the name of Clock Town's Inn? That's the Stockpot Inn. What time does she go to bed? Uh, eight. What is the name that she gives you? Grasshopper. What color trunks does he wear? He wears red. Is he left-handed or right-handed? Uh... Oh! Go away. Alright, well, treasure shop game next. We can go back to Milk Road. There's another Keaton point there. How are you supposed to... I mean, I get it that he was, like, right there, but still. I don't know. I thought he was left-handed. Alright. Hey, lady. Yeah, I'm gonna do the treasure shop game. Oh, it's a regular chest. It's probably not even worth it. Alright. Oh! Well, this is already off to a great start. Oh, do not even tell me that I went the completely wrong way. I did. This game always is a this this particular mini game is always like oh ho ho you went the completely wrong way. Oh, but we we won first try. Wow. Twenty bucks. What what a con job. It cost thirty rupees to do that. Did you have fun? No. I am not doing that again, you con artist. Alright, Milk Road, do Keaton again. Then we can, oh, we can actually go and get the warp point. We can go to Snowhead now, if we wanted to. Nope. Keaton first. We could literally go to Snowhead Temple. Or Great Bay Temple. I don't particularly want to go to any of them, but... Alright. Keaton. What time does she go to bed? Eight. How many cows are there at Romani Ranch? There are three. What is the name of the song she teaches you? Opponent song. How old is Tingle? He's 35. What weapon does she use to practice? She uses a slingshot. No, she uses a bow to... I'm running out of places for key. Oh, I can put Baby Goron to sleep that now. And do the whole Rock Sirloin quest. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't want to go to any of the dungeons just yet. I feel like that would be too big of a time sink. Actually, 
Yeah, we can do so much stuff here now. another snowhead fairy. At this point, we're gonna have all the snowhead fairies by the time we actually do snowhead temple. Oh, fire arrows are great to have. Potion. I am getting a lot of those now, aren't I? Oh, I can give one to Shiro. Anything in the shop? Well, there was a lot of stuff in the shop. Can't remember if I bought this or not. I did. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> Arr, you win some, you lose some. So let's shut up Baby Goron. Oh boy, a hero shield. I was afraid that the first torch was going to go out right as I lit the last torch. That would have been annoying. and get the right one. Oh! Well, that was lucky. First try. Well, first, first one we actually broke. Rock Sirloin! To the rescue! There's the ghost of Darmani around. Oh! Gorhanling can use the Lens of Truth as well? Oh, this is gonna make it even e easier. Thought he was around here somewhere.
Maybe he's already at his grave. Don't mean to sound morbid, he's actually dead. Alright. You gotta carry the stake to my friend. Yeah, we need Sonata, Garo, Mask, or Gibdo Mask, Oath to Order, Elegy of Emptiness, Ice Arrows, and then White Arrows. The wolf is a good boy! Rock steak! I love rock steak. Give me that. Give me that steak. Howdy, friend. Oh ho, it's up here. Rock sirloin, there you go. Oh yeah. Sometimes all you need is a good meal. <gasps> Light arrows! Oh man. Sometimes, really, all you need to do is <laughs> help someone out and give them a good meal. Every game but Ultimate Chicken Horse and Rayman 1. I hope he's already here at the grave. He is. Cool. It's the song of healing. Oh, and we also have to find all the keys and stuff. I forgot about that. <laughs> a stray fairy. He was a fairy all along. Hey, Richard Armani, uh, you're alive? Yes, but actually, no. I gotta blow up the entrance to the Goron race. And we have a powder keg to do that. Oh, also, I think there's quick swap arrows now attached to the bow, where, like, if you press the R button while you have the bow out, it'll automatically swap to the different arrows. I'm gonna try that out.
Hey dude, I already opened it up, so... I swear quick swap arrows are possible. Perhaps not. Oh, it's wow, you have an arrow notched. Oh, that's really cool. All right, dude, I blew up the entrance to the racetrack. Don't, so give me my prize. Did it. Oh, oaf to order. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> Powder kegs are so volatile. <laughs> Be careful. Alright, well at least get to Snowhead. Get the owl statue there and collect the stuff along the way. Oh, oh you stupid bat. Bigger wallet. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh no, that's that's a bomb bag, but I already have the biggest bomb bag. Oh well. I'll pick it up anyways. This has ice arrows, that would be very fitting and also very awesome. No, I've swamp sculpture it's okay. Hey, I'm halfway to get breaking that curse. I really, really hope that those don't reset when we reset time. I really hope they don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only 12 hours left. <laughs> Nope. 
playing this music in clock mode, eh? Alright, well, let's see what's in Andrew's room. Doesn't look like anything good. Yeah, bomb juice. Was she planning a, a GTA heist? Because that seems a bit disconcerting. Alright, what else can we do? Curiosity shop opens. I can sell my gold dust there to get some more cash. Other than that... Sorry, bro. Let's go help out Shiro. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that's what you sounded like for a second there, Pona. I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm on the way here. We can use Goron Mask to get into this grotto. If I get Gibdo Mask, Garo Mask, or Sonata of Awakening along the way here, that would be awesome. I will have to remember where the, uh, keys were. I got the Woodfall Boss Temple Key. That was underwater in the Gerudo Fortress, I believe. I also got two keys to Stone Tower Temple, two keys to Snowhead Temple, and the one key to Woodfall. Don't need the Woodfall Temple Key. It's a small key, though. That will not be necessary. Hey, Shiro. Here's your red potion. Oh! Boss key for Stone Tower Temple. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> Thank you, Shiro. I think this is basically all we can do for this time loop. We could go into one of the dungeons, but I'm honestly getting ready to end this stream. So let's undo the slowdown time. Oh, we can also get a look at what the all night what the all night mask turned into. All right. Now all we have to do is wait till nine o'clock, and we can sell our gold dust. Fast forward time. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 da da dun 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 and this is why people subscribe to my Twitch channel. Not really. I don't know why anyone would subscribe. I don't need the money. I don't want the money. Just, you know. 
if I get a couple people to hang out with, it's fun. And I like playing games. It's literally a win, 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 win. All right. Nine o'clock. Oh, no, it starts at ten o'clock. Aw. Now we gotta wait a little longer. So I think next time I continue this seed, I'll probably go off to Snowhead Temple. Because we were able to completely beat that temple now. We might end up finding the Sonata of Awakening in there as well. Oh, we could also go to... No. Not going back to Ocean Sculptural House till I get the Captain's Hat. Magic beans for 500 rupees. Yeah, I don't think so. I will sell you my golden dust, though. <laughs> Aw, yeah! Golden dust. Deposit my rupees. Alright, so... 200 rupees. What? You're there? That's insane. Oh, you got 500 rupees here. Take five rupees. That's what they call interest. All right, time to end this cycle. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> the Deku scrub. Oh no! Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this stream. Thanks everybody who came in to hang out for a bit. I hope you guys tune in for future streams of mine. You can follow me if you want the alerts whenever I go live. I don't stream super often, but I always stream at least once a week. Sometimes twice, if I want to do something like this. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your night and hope the rest of your week goes great. Have a great day and God bless.